Hey guys, real quick, before we start the next vlog, I wanna bring you up to speed on a really cool company. Startups and scale-ups, check this out. We are Luna.co is a great place for you and your business to start off with phenomenal accounting and legal services. So if you're a startup or a scale-up looking for legal and finance support, or alternatively looking to raise capital, we are Luna.co is where you need to be starting off. These guys have been doing it for as long as the dinosaurs have roamed Earth. And if you mention this vlog, they'll give you $200 credit towards your first kickoff. Guys, staying local with we are Luna. You have to jump straight into it this session. Yeah, well, like we are Luna are local to us here. Um, they've got a great product and service, but I want to stay local. All right, let's go. We're going to start with some fast news. Let's go. First off, Kogan released their results recently and they had a 30% pop in the share price. On your boys. Shareholders would be happy with that. Yep. It was also their 18th birthday. Mm -hmm. Airtree's 10th birthday. Yep. Reinventure's 10th birthday. Was it your birthday in March? No, not in March, but my daughter's birthday next week. There you go, birthdays all round. Yep. There was a very large cap raise with Bug Crowd, so one of the early Startmate portfolio companies that went through the Startmate Accelerator, they just raised $156 million in the largest round here to date. Year to date. Pretty much. That's amazing. Not not financial year to date. No, 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 no year to date. Yeah, um, I think that's amazing. Octopus Deploy that also did a massive raise a couple of years ago during the during the crazy time of COVID. I think they just made their first acquisition of about forty million dollars of a California-based company called Codefresh. Yeah, incredible. You know, it's been really tough out there to see, see some of these numbers. Really encouraging. Yeah, and 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 we've spoken a couple of times over the past few months as the Canva secondary round, where early shareholders, early employees are going to get some liquidity, get some get some cash convert those uh, stock options into cash. And um, last time we spoke, it was gonna be about $2.2 billion. They're now talking $3.6 billion and could potentially be more after oh, that. Yeah. So that is, the, that is the gift that keeps on giving. I'll tell you what, I love Canva. Uh, and Zero came out with some new announcements in their strategy update that they're gonna be integrating Gen AI into their, into their platform for all of those basic tasks that are just over, and you know, the repetitive tasks, the, the simple tasks that drive you up the wall. If you, if you look after your own accounting or you use Luna for your own accounting, you know, this is, uh, these are the tasks that are going to be automated to make you more efficient. Mate, we sit on zero here at Creative Cubes and the finance team love it. They'll be all so that's, Yeah, that's really cool. Talk to me, Launch Vic. Yeah, so Launch Vic, you know, I don't know if, for those of you who don't know, Launch Vic is a government organization that are there to stimulate the early stage tech ecosystem, get more investors in, get more startups in, give grants, etc. They've just released a new initiative uh, where they're going to give up to $300,000 for new angel groups to invest in early stage tech businesses, pre-seed and seed businesses. They've done it before. Love I think it. they gave some money to uh, Flying Fox, I think, as part of their, their cohorts and the they, like. They need to give it to Flying Fox. Those guys are phenomenal. Uh, and then lastly, big breaking news this morning. Yeah, I heard about this. A class action has been awarded against Uber a five-year class action, the fifth largest Australia's ever seen, of a total of $272 million. And I actually want to add another $30 to that, please. Because last night I went to order Uber for my Uber Eats for my kids, and it was $38. But by the time we were through the checkout, nearly $70. So I said, screw this. Fees after fees after. Oh, mate. After the menu price that was different between us. I two. actually don't know how we got to $70 when the meal cost 38 So I jumped in the car and went and picked it up for him. So this class action is being rewarded to original taxi drivers and like yep. when ride sharing came in back, you know, before it was regulated. Now it's regulated in every state. Sure. But money's flowing back to the mums and dads or the families who had um, those taxi licenses. So big news. Uber, Uber plays a special place in my heart. I was there when they founded Uber in Los Angeles. Were you? Yeah, they were actually working out of my More breaking news. Uh, working out of my co-working space in Los Angeles. I got goosebumps thinking about it. And actually Travis and the team- Did you meet Travis? Inspired me yeah, okay. to start a on-demand dog walking business, which was Uber for dog walking. And that went great. Uh, it's now part of Rover.com. Amazing. And I think they either recently IPO'd or they're about to IPO or they just went private. They're doing some amazing things over there at Rover.com. Amazing. So over there, global. So we're going global. Yep. So Stripe. Yep. No one. Uh, use valuation. them. <laughs> we'll use so them. I've used them as well. Yep. Amazing. 
So their valuation has uh, spiked to 65 billion US dollars. It's not 55. the highest it's been. Yeah, it's been at 95 yeah. during the peak of 2021. Then it dropped to 50. And then now it's back, back up at 65. Right. There were some secondary sales. Secondary is going to be a, a hot topic in 2024. Um, where, where they give liquidity to early employees, kind of like the Canva thing that we spoke about before. Totally. Um, Stripe also released their founder annual letter, which has lots of interesting data points. So if you yep. get online and search for the Stripe annual letter, you'll see it. I'll link their, it. Their total payment volume has topped $1 trillion in 2023. Bang! That is massive. Uh, on, the, on the flip side, Apple, Project Titan. You know what Project Titan I don't know all that Titan. $10 billion. <laughs> Flush down the toilet. 10 years of investment of Apple into electric and autonomous vehicles has been shut. Where do you think they go with this? Has been closed. What do you think? Do you think they buy Rivian? Do you think they buy Tesla? You gotta look into the crystal ball. Yeah. I don't think they'll buy Tesla. No? No, but we'll talk about Elon. I soon. actually think, yeah, well, I think Elon, I love Elon. We, we love Elon and we're huge subscribers to what he does and in every department. But there's a bit of there's a bit of tur turbulence around him at the moment. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a, there's a lot of lawsuits going on. So yeah. he is suing OpenAI for yeah. them, I guess, changing their non-for-profit to commercial. Well, he invested under a pretense that this was sort of not-for-profit, open AI, and what Sam and crew allegedly do your own research. Don't sue us. Um, have done is they've, they've closed the house. It's not open AI. It's closed AI to a certain degree. They got and, that Microsoft. And they got Microsoft came in. Yeah. They're turning it into more of a for-profit organization. Yeah. They've just reshuffled their board. Yeah. And Sam's now officially back on the board after being ousted as CEO and back in as CEO. Yep. Um, on the other side, when if you, if you recall, Elon Musk purchased. Twitter, he's now converted it and called it X rebranded. Yep. A lot of the Twitter executives that got booted straight after his acquisition are now coming back and suing Elon Musk. In other news, Elon is no longer the wealthiest guy in the world. Jeff Bezos is back. He's back. He's I actually back. saw some stuff from Jeff over the weekend doing some really great stuff, char charitable stuff, philanthropy and stuff. I don't think Elon Musk really cares whether he's suing people, other people are suing him. He's building Tesla, he's building SpaceX, because last week there was a successful Starship launch yep. and he's going off to Mars. So we heard about Jeff taking the reins off Elon in terms of the world's richest. Microsoft has taken the world's most valuable tech company, okay. right? I don't, I, don't know how, I don't know whether you or how many people here monitor the market caps of all these big tech stocks. Always. But it is like, it's like a horse race. Yeah, right? One day, Apple's the biggest tech, biggest company in the world, then Microsoft, then Apple. Now Microsoft are at 3.1 trillion, and Apple's at 2.7 trillion. Huge. NVIDIA is the one that's really starting to skyrocket. They're at 2.2 trillion, having grown over 240% over the last 12 months. So if you bought- They've got a huge NVIDIA, conference. Yeah, they've got a James huge- James Packer. Oh, sorry. No. Please. No, James Packer just put in a, you know, sold I think 24 or 25 of different um, stocks and put his money into into Meta and into Nvidia. It's incredible. They have a huge conference going on now in Southern California. My brother-in-law, yeah, yeah, is over there. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if I've missed it, Nvidia, or if I should, or if I jump in now, whether or not it's going to continue to. Do what that, it's doing. that is the big question, but they are bigger than Amazon. They are bigger than Alphabet, which is Google. So they are certainly uh, on a growth trajectory. It's incredible. Guys, thanks for watching. Go check out wearelunar.co for more. Thanks, guys. See you guys.